Hello everybody, we are back here on the Great One Grind, although it may not look like it considering the last map I hunted was Yukon, but uh, we'll, we'll jump over to Rancho now. How's everybody doing? Hope you're doing great. This is the one that gets the great one? I hope so, man. Hey, Kyla, hey, Zyphon, Mason, Ben, Family, uh, Miller, Mango Man, uh, Mason, or oh, I already said Mason, Steel, Donald, Sabrina, Henry, Kelton, Little Man Games, Smash, uh, I saw Mel there earlier. Hey, Con, how's it going? Destiny, uh, Chicken Strips, how's everybody doing? Hey, Joseph, let's get out there and see what we can do. Where is, okay, there, there it is. I still have the loadout from today's video on, so we're going to have to uh, get rid of pretty much all the, uh, um, what happened? <laughs> oh, okay, there it goes. I, I couldn't release it. It wouldn't let me let go of it. That's a first. That was really strange. I, it's happening again. I, I'm not. Oh, okay. <laughs> the virant is being weird right now. I couldn't release it. That was so weird. That was so strange. Have you guys ever had that happen before? Because I literally could not let go of that thing. That was the strangest thing I've had happen. I think that's all the guns. Yeah, we really don't need anything else. Don't need that. Only thing I can think of is maybe my mouse button was sticking. I hope not, though. I guess we'll know if it does it with other things. Seems fine, though. I think it was just called the wild being slow. So far today, we're not dropping any frames, which is nice to see, because last stream we had an issue with uh, frame drops. It's happened to you too? Gotcha, Zyphon. Okay, so it definitely isn't just me then. Anyway, let's take a look at our map before we start, as with always when we're doing this great one grind. I show the map at the beginning and ending so you guys can see where we uh, pick up and where we leave off. So there's uh, how the hunting pressure and everything's looking right now. Let's uh, change the time and then get over to the La Hacienda Lake. Oh, we're going to be hunting on Rancho today, Steel Shot. Hey, Christian, how's it going, dude? Hey, Blitz, how's it going, man? Good to see you. Hope you've been doing good. Keep getting the pronghorn score bug. I don't think I've heard of that one, Mango. I don't think so, C-Plays. Nobody else has mentioned it, so I'm guessing it's on your end. I could be wrong, though. That's a decent buck there. Things are looking good to start it off with. That is... That's an absolute giant. Okay, he's going down first. What a beast. What a beast of a deer. <laughs> absolute giant. Which, which lake is Ghost Lake? Ghost Lake is this one right here. Because if you, if you like tilt your head to the left a little bit, it looks like a ghost. Like this is the head, these are the arms, this is like its uh, legs or whatever. I mean, ghosts really don't have legs, but you get what I mean. It looks kind of like a ghost. Which is why it's been dubbed a uh, Ghost Lake. Did not quite get vitals on that last one. Should be good enough though. Ghost legs. Yeah, I, I don't know what else to call it. So uh, according to me, ghosts now have legs. You heard it here first, folks. Ghosts officially have legs. And there's nothing that we can do about it. They're going to start walking into our houses. And we won't be able to stop it. I hope so, Wyatt. I hope today is the day. Hey, Duxton, I'm doing good, man. Doing great today. Uh, I'm going to be visiting my mom today, so pretty excited to go do that. Been a little while since I've been over there. That's a doe. Ah, 
That's unfortunate, Max. Do they have toes, though? I, 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 I don't know. I've never thought of that. Do ghosts have toes? I'm going to say probably no. Nice steel shot. Got a Meligator that scored 416. That's a good one, Chrome. Definitely better than the Meligator that I have. Oh, good. No ghosts walking into my house. Can't be. I know, right? It's uh, hard to believe, but the ghosts are just going to start walking around. Nothing we can do about it. Have a mythical piebald nine gator. Nice. Uh, or wait. No, I read that wrong. Mythical piebald gator. Nice, dude. That's awesome. I saw the nine and my first thought was that you meant a level nine, but then I realized that you also said mythical. And then I got confused. And then I realized I just read it wrong. <laughs> All right, so we got one more over here. I'm assuming there's probably more. Why do I shoot the does? Because I'm looking for full herd respawns, not just the bucks. Because I have found that getting the entire herd to respawn, basically as a brand new herd, tends to yield better trophies for me. I mean, we've got two super rares and a great one doing that, so I think that speaks for itself. Scared now walking ghosts? I know, right? Don't you worry, don't you worry though guys, uh, I'll make sure all the walking ghosts come over to me, that way I can uh, get some sweet 3am uh, <laughs> uh, ghost challenge videos. <laughs> I can't even say that with a straight face. Ah man, we didn't get vitals, probably spine. Hey! No, stop that. Yes, it does delete the zone if I if I shoot the full herd. But on Rancho, it really isn't that big of a deal because they always come back to the same lakes that you killed them at. Which is why I've never had any issues with it. Hey, tall boy. It has been a little bit, but it's good to see you back. Did we miss a couple over here? I think we did. If I remember right, there was a couple we missed. Question is, is it going to be worth walking all the way over there? I think so. It's not too far. Scarecrow the Ghostbuster? Oh yeah. <laughs> going to be doing those, those sick 2 a.m., 3 a.m. challenge videos. Chasing ghosts at 2 a.m. gone wrong. You won't believe what happens next. Just gonna become one of those uh, clickbait 2 a.m. challenge uh, channels. Gosh. Those have to be like some of the most cringy videos on all of YouTube. He's dodging the bullets for real, man. Doing typical ghost things. It's a good map, Mango. I like Rancho a lot. It's especially good for Whitetail. Uh, one and a half to two hours, Steel. Depending on, uh... How things go, and also depending on, um... When I want to leave, uh, to head to my mom's today. What map do I think they should come out with? I want to see a Texas Game Ranch. I think it would be the best because of the amount of exotic animals that you could have there. Would by far be my top pick. Deer everywhere, jeez. Did we get one more? I think we had to have. There's two more spotted icons on the map, so we killed at least one more. Probably two. They've been doing pretty good, Tallboy. We've all been doing pretty well.
Oh, no worries, Skyla. No worries. Welcome back. It's here, the fabled ghost one. Yeah, we're after the ghost one today. Because it's just not showing up. Where'd my dog go? Hunter! Typical hunter. I don't even see him. Man, I swear, they need to make it easier to see the outline. Because, like, I could enable the dog icon, but I don't want to have the icon on my screen all the time. But I think for now, I might turn it on just to make it a little bit easier to see where Hunter even went. Oh, he's back here. Hunter, what are you doing, dude? I, I told you to track. What are you doing? Nice, Braxton. Uh, no diamonds yet, uh, Jamo. Nothing yet. We're still pretty early into the stream. Kind of a cool looking buck. Very odd time configuration there. Oh yeah, that's a bug that happens, uh, underground bass, and all it is is the sound for putting up a stand. Like when you build one of the pre-built stands, it makes that sound, and for some reason, there's been a bug for quite a while where you just randomly hear that audio cue for absolutely no reason, which is still a little bit strange, but at least it's not uh, too bad. And why am I getting, why am I getting a random call from a number I don't recognize? I love it. I swear, the amount of random calls I get from just, like, all over the U.S. is insane. Just random numbers I've never seen in my life. Gotta love it. Answer it! I just answer it. WRONG NUMBER! And then I hang up. They really have, Kyla. Like, out of nowhere. Out of nowhere, there's just been so many of them. I don't get it. And like I've been getting added to random group chats on uh through like text where people literally are just like adding all of the numbers that start with like the same three digits. It's so annoying. Problems with having a phone number pretty much. Got to love it. It's fantastic. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Nice, tall boy, that's wild. I bet that was fun. Hello, anything? Nope, doesn't look like it. Awesome, Sam, I'm glad to hear that, man. Great to hear that it's working out for you. So many dentists signed up with Medicare and it's Flinter's number, so he's getting. T oh gosh, that's really unfortunate, Kyla. That's really unfortunate. That looks like a decent buck. Yeah, that guy's not too bad, up to 226. Am I gonna stream during Easter? I'm not entirely sure yet. I think I'm going to be gone all day, if I'm not mistaken. i got to figure out uh, what day it is I'm supposed to be gone. But I think I'm going to be gone on Easter. Oh, there's actually a lot of deer over at this spot. Um, which group has the most bucks? I think this one does. I mean, not that we can really even see them that well, but... That's a weird deer. <laughs> That's a really weird deer. No, we're missing all the shots. There we go. Finally hit it. Gotta be some more we can take out. Can we hit it? Maybe. If we're lucky, that might have hit. But I'm starting to think it probably wasn't a hit. All right, those two are down.
Wait, wait, what family? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm confused. What do you mean? Game completely reset and I lost all my progress, but trophy lodge is still there. Ooh, that's rough, dude. That's really rough. At least you still have your trophies, though, because some people lose those as well. So that's at least lucky. Oh, nice steel shot. That's one of my favorite dinners. You honestly can't go wrong with garlic bread and spaghetti. And even better, day old spaghetti. Day old spaghetti just hits different. Yeah, hopefully, Sam. Hopefully today is the day. All right, let's try to track down these last ones. Yeah, I mean, I'd I'd say that's probably a good idea, Blitz. If it's getting if it's starting to feel like stale to you, then that would definitely help. I know Kyla's done that a few times. And to be honest, she has had some pretty good luck with it. And honestly, it might fix the uh, the luck you've had with great ones. Because sometimes... Uh, I am like... Almost positive there has to be like differences between people's uh, games like... Because like for example, there's a lot of people that get... Oh, that is the most wonky deer ever. What are you? What is this thing? Ugh. That is disgusting. Why are you even a thing? All right then. Well, <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, I am like 100% with the idea of there possibly being differences between every person's game when it comes to like what types of rares and diamonds they find more of on their own maps. Like, for example, I have so many Diamond Red Deer on my Tiawaroa map, but I have absolutely zero Melanistics coming from the grind. But then there's other people that have had like four or five Melanistics, but haven't seen a single Diamond. I'm definitely under the impression that it kind of like maybe chooses random ones that are going to be easier for that individual to find. It's hard to say, but... That could definitely be a thing, you never know. Because I'm sure they've got plenty of systems that like determine how rare certain things are that they just don't tell us about. So sometimes a restart can definitely be, be a good thing if you've had just terrible luck and things are getting stale. Obviously, you got to take into account the fact that you have to earn all that money back and buy all your tents and stuff again and completely unlock your maps again. Like, that is some things you got to take into account, but sometimes it's good. Oh, yeah, Steel Shot for sure. That is pretty delicious. Uh, not today, Henry. We're a great one grinding here on Rancho today. Oh, hi. That's a doe, and so is that, and that's a buck. I think we're gonna shoot the buck first. Two bucks, actually. Oh. Hey, ma'am. And ma'am, ma'am? Ignore those missed shots. We're just going to pretend that was the first shot I took. <laughs> and I get on this rock. There we go. We did it. Our tiny little legs finally made it up. That's the dough. Where'd the bucks go? That's the ones I really want. But I suppose if she's just going to chill there, we might as well shoot her as well. Oh, there it is. Hello? Crow, find your aim, man. Jeez. Going to assume you meant duck aim, tall boy. <laughs> Although, I gotta say, that's a hilarious typo. Up. 
possibly, Khan. I tend to only jump on Classic when they have some updates. So if we get another uh, update that adds some new stuff, then we'll probably do a video on it. Looky there. He's coming back. And I missed the next shot. Doesn't surprise me. Tried to delete it and it told me error. Well, that's fun. No, I haven't tried it before, uh, Steel Shot. It sounds familiar, though. But I haven't tried it myself. Still haven't killed a Mellow Whitetail. They are pretty rare. They're definitely not one of the most common rares to find for Whitetail. Buck aim? Yeah, it's buck aim, duck aim, uh, just scarecrow being bad aim. We've got it all here. Two bucks, two does, and we only came out with one doe. Fantastic. Hopefully underground bassin, that would be amazing, dude. That'd be great if you could find yourself a great one. Not sure how those got spooked by me fast traveling, but I suppose it is what it is. Oh, I've never seen you guys here. Oh, that shot was nuts. That shot was insane. I can't believe that shot. That poor deer. That poor thing got absolutely dropped on the spot. Wow. I should do a cooking video? I don't think I'll ever do a cooking video. I am not a good cook. Alright, so we got nothing over there. So, let's bounce over this tent. Uh, no, Austin, that's probably on your end. Stream's looking good on my side. Finally got great one number one on Red Deer. Took 2,583. Nice, Beluga. That's uh, less than it took me, so congrats on that. Have a Mela 3 piebald and an albino. Nice, Austin. That seems about right. Uh, typically, you find more piebalds than you do the other rares. All right, I'm going to call it Blitz. You're going to find an albino rabbit. That's what you're going to find. Hey, Wyatt, how's it going, dude? Nice, Preston. Congratulations. Yeah, Blitz, I remember hearing about that. That's awesome, dude. Hopefully that's been uh, good for you. Love not being able to keep a fishing planet fish worth 73k. Ooh. Oh, no, Smash. That's unfortunate. I haven't played uh, Fishing Planet in ages. I don't even know, like, what's going on with the game right now. So close. We almost got that last one. Hey, we still hit her. Wasn't a good shot, but we at least got a hit into it. Yeah, Austin, I remember you. First albino is a water buffalo. Wrecked it with a full 308 clip. <laughs> nice, dude. <laughs> nice. Yeah, Fishing Planet's not my favorite of the fishing games. I've enjoyed Fisher Online much more. Looks like the aim's getting better. Temporarily. And then it'll be back to being typical crow aim. Ooh, wow, we brain shot that. Impressive. I'm very good at ruining trophies, but that's about it today. Nice, Max. 
Jeez, Benjamin, that's so strange, dude. That is just, that's wild. Really unfortunate numbers. Yeah, I don't see anything close, so if we did hit any more, they're probably really far away. You've summoned some snacks. <laughs> nice, Hollow. How's it going? That's good to hear, Blitz. That's good to hear. Really happy to hear that. Hey, Jor, how's it going? How you been? How many kills in this grind so far? Uh, just over 12,000. In total. Um, I don't know how many it's been since the last great one. I think it's been about 800, roughly. Maybe a little bit more now. Uh, to be honest, I've not really kept super close track of it. Just been keeping track of, like, rough estimates on the numbers. But I think we're about eight to 900 into this. Or my fingertips off playing guitar? Nice, Hollow. That sounds like a pretty good time. Oh, we got a few here. Not bad. I think we'll do this one first. Nice. Oh, and uh, guess what, guys? For those of you that enjoy watching the Pokemon card openings, I was able to pick up a uh, Darkness Ablaze Elite Trainer box at uh, Walmart the other day, so we have uh, a Shining Fates box and a Darkness Ablaze box to open up, which will be pretty fun. Excited to do those. And I also found a couple, like, Burning Shadows sets. Um, at the same one. Pretty amazing, because that set is relatively sought after. Got a 271 Diamond Whitetail. Nice, Austin. That's awesome. Hey, Benjamin. How's it going? That crack of a drink. It is quite a lovely sound. There's nothing like the sound of uh, a soda or a beer or any type of beverage that comes in a can just cracking open. Truly is music to my ears. Nice, Mango. That takes some skill. Hey, Kelton, it's going good. I hope your day is going just as good as mine has been. Is there anything else here? No, I think we got them all. Off to Ghost Lake. Let's see if it'll be good. Yeah, repeating over and over again will not get me to answer your message, just so you know. If if I keep seeing you spam the same message, chances are I won't reply. Because it's, uh, obnoxious against the rules. And, uh, also it makes it hard for other people to get their questions in. So please, do not repeat the same message over and over again. Or I'm just not gonna reply to it. It's, it's not the way to get me to reply to your message. Interesting to see we've got some more deer over in this area now. Snowing in April in Minnesota, like always. <laughs> Rip, man. I mean, snow's pretty cool sometimes, though. As long as you don't have a lot of places to drive. 
then it's not quite as cool. Oof. Nice. That should drop him. Or not. Which animal in lake should I do? I would say... I'd say go for a red one. A red one? <laughs> go for a red deer great one. Uh, it's a lot it's a lot easier to grind red deer on Tia Baroa than I think really anything else in the game except for maybe Rancho Whitetail but I'd say if you want like an easy grind that's you're not gonna have to do too much thinking about like where you're hunting them I'd probably say that's a good way to go and I really like the uh, Pukimaro lakes and then the two lakes above it uh, those lakes are amazing for red deer new blue deer great one Yes, that's the next great one. It's going to be a blue mule deer that uh, accidentally got into a paint factory and broke open some of the paint cans. <laughs> that actually sounds like it could be something they would make as a great one. Like, the backstory to the great one is that it, like, busted into, like, a, a convenience store and, like, punctured a paint can with its antler. And and so it's just got a streak of blue down its side and a paint can attached to its antler. I'd love a great one like that. That would actually be amazing and hilarious. New to the game, what should you grind first? Uh, to be honest, I wouldn't focus on grinding. I'd focus on just learning everything about the game. Because uh, there's a lot of stuff that you'll want to know about the game before you start a grind. Grinding is more of like uh, something for after you kind of already know the basics of the game and you have learned a lot of the good locations for every species. I wouldn't really focus on it uh, too early on. I don't know what it is about this zone, but every time we go here, nothing spooks until we're like right on top of them. It's honestly kind of amazing and perfect for grinding. Oh, she, of course she ran. Of course I messed it up. Well, it would have been really easy. But now they're, uh, they're all running. I mean, it's still going somewhat well. Okay, she should go down. I think she should go down. Thank you, Yule. Hopefully we do get a great one. Yeah, it's definitely not for everybody, Duxton. Grinding can be very uh, grueling and it can get repetitive and boring at times. Pretty much, Con. Pretty much. That's what keeps me going is the, uh, remembering just the feeling of finding a great one. It makes me want to find more. How come I'm deleting the zones? Because with my grinding method, zones aren't really that important. I shoot every single deer that I see in hopes of basically getting the entire herd to, uh, respawn. So basically we're shooting, uh, every deer in a herd. Trying to get brand new herds to spawn because I feel like I get better stuff out of fresh herds than I do out of herds that have just a couple bucks respawning in them, you know? And on Rancho Del Arroyo, provided you're not hunting the entire map, the deer will always return to the same lakes you uh, shot them at, which is another reason why I only hunt like these three main lakes and then a couple of the really tiny ones right there and there. It honestly makes for a pretty effective grind that is relatively reliable. Man, I was hoping we'd get more to walk in front of us. Nothing cool yet, eh?
Nice, Xander. That is always very satisfying. Got trolled by a level 5 mule deer and a level 5 fallow deer yesterday. Sorry to hear that, Buck Hunter. You'll get him next time. Nice, James. Do I do any bass fishing? There's really not a lot of good bass fishing around in Oregon. Unless it's for smallmouth, but I don't really know too much about them. I've pretty much just uh, fished for trout most of my life. Trout, salmon, steelhead. I mean, steelhead are like a sea run form of rainbow trout, so I guess that's still kind of trout, but that's what most of my hunting has been, is for trout and salmon. All right. Honestly, you can hunt the geese anywhere on, Hirschfeld on Hirschfelden. It really doesn't matter too much. All that really matters with goose hunting is that you have decoys down and you're calling. Uh, because they'll go to wherever the decoys are. So it's, it's really just a matter of finding a field that you really like. Finding a field that's like easy to hunt in, that's not too brushy. And honestly, that's one of the cool things about goose hunting is you can hunt wherever you want to. All right, on to our favorite lake. Come on, give us another super rare. Hey, TTV. Dropped it on wood floors and because it's a far fall, it's smashed all along the middle. Oh, gosh. That's, that's rough, TTV. Sorry to hear that. Come on, show us another super rare. Uh, I'll take that. <laughs> it's, it's not the super rare we were hoping to see, but that's a good level three. That's a nice level three buck. Beautiful. At least it's something. Been a little bit since we had a diamond. All right, later, Revive. Think you'll get the Great One of this lake? I hope so. Would be nice if we could get the Great One of this lake. All right, let's make sure there's nothing else crazy here. Yeah, it's a beauty right there. Let's go ahead and get this guy down. I can't tell, but I think it's one of the smaller racks. It doesn't look like it has much mass. Let, let's get a closer look. I mean, yeah, that looks like one of the smaller racks. It could just be because we're far away and at a weird angle, but this might not even make diamond. I mean, on second look, no, I think that is the small rack. I think that's the small rack. We'll have to get a little bit closer. Thank you, Casey. Gearing up right now to do a two-day fishing weekend with my sons. Nice, underground bassin'. I honestly can't wait till my uh, daughter's old enough to start learning how to fish. That is going to be some fun times. Uh, yeah, that was a level three TTV. Yeah, Mason, you joined at the perfect time. Level three down. Hopefully, Benjamin. Let's see. We're getting close to it. Let's see what it is. Is this going to be a diamond? Or not? Doesn't look like it. That looks like a troll. It's a really bad troll. Yeah, it's rough. I didn't think it looked that big. And it definitely isn't. 249.90. That's sad. 
Oh well. Moving on to the next one. That's rough. That's really rough. Those are the worst ones because you look at the tip to tip spread and you almost immediately know that it's probably going to be a troll. Quite sad to see. But at least it's a level 3. Maybe we'll get something else good to spawn as well. I got you, Wyatt, sending my luck over to you right now. Oh, I would love that, Uriah. That's one of the turkey species I think would be pretty cool. And I feel like they would be able to do it. I know they don't want to do os- or they tried to do oscillated turkeys and because of how vibrantly colored those things are, they weren't able to get the colors right with the current graphics engine. But ocella turkeys are- I think they'd be a little bit easier to do. They do have that kind of like iridescence in their feathers, but not quite as like extremely colorful as an oscillated turkey, so I feel like that could be something they- they would actually be able to do. Nice, Hollow. Nice, Casey. Yeah, TTV, good to have you here. I'm uh, not sure, Ben. Probably not today. It'll be whenever we hit the next goal. Which, uh, right now we're 45 off the next goal. Whenever we hit that, we'll do the next Pokemon opening. That would be cool, Max. I don't think it's possible with uh, the current state of Call of the Wild. I think they'd have to completely redo the entire, like, mechanics. And so that would probably be, like, a separate game mode if they were ever able to do that. And even then, it would probably still be difficult. Because that's a very huge thing to try and implement. Uh, this is the Snort Wheeze Caller. It comes with Verhonga Savannah. I mean, that's up to them, Tyler. Anybody can watch the stream. What's my favorite map? Uh, my favorite map is Silver Ridge Peaks. Second favorite map is probably Verhonga Savannah. Tiabaroa would be third. I don't see anything. Going to assume we're slightly late on the time because it is 11 16. Yeah, it looks like we're a little bit late. Nice, Austin. Hey, Nina. I uh, know I just stream on YouTube. I don't stream on any other platforms. Found a small albino buck. Nice, Blitz. That's a good start, at least. Nice, Buck Hunter. Pretty lucky, man. Nice, Wyatt. Everybody's getting some cool trophies right now. Well, we got a solo buck, though. Not as bad as a solo doe, though. But still not great. Uh, we got two more there. That's a decent deer. Oh, we forgot that one. Hmm. Well, then. We should probably go get that. What is European Bison drink time? I don't actually remember because I don't hunt them that often. I am not entirely sure on that one. What? How is that not vitals? Did we really hit stomach there? 
I think we did, but we got it on the second. That was strange. Nice, Ben. I'm kind of jealous. I want one of those. Uh, yes, Buck Hunter. They are rare. Dilute Mule Deer are considered a rare now. If they had a new great one, what do you think it'll be? I'm banking on Mule Deer being the next one. I feel like that's the most likely addition. Found an albino lion, but it ran away before I could shoot it. Will it come back if I restart my game? Probably. If it was on your own map, it should. Uh, more deer? How come we did not see these? I guess they're late to their zone. Uh, to be honest, I haven't really paid attention to it reverse. It seemed the same as the uh, M1 when I was doing my testing a while back. Seemed like they performed pretty evenly on all facets. That's a decent buck. There he is. So he was late to his zone. So after we go collect these over here, we're going to have to double back and grab those two. Should do a shotgun only video? That's pretty much what today's video was actually. Oh yeah, definitely Joey. It is very satisfying. It's that uh, sense of accomplishment that you just did something that is easy to mess up. Yeah, there is scent remover. Hey, Sonaldo. Hope you're doing well today. What's the intro song? It's called The Happiest Days. I don't remember the artist, but... I know the song is called The Happiest Days. And it's uh, on Epidemic Sound. Two thirteen, not bad. Solid deer. Next right one's probably going to be Moose. To be honest, I don't think so. I don't think it'll be Moose. I know a lot of people want it to be a Moose, but I don't think it will be. Because the way that I see it is they probably... If they're doing a, another great one, right? I feel like they would be more likely to go off of the survey answers that they got last time they did a survey about it. And from what I could tell, just from people in the community, it seemed like most people voted for Red Deer and Mule Deer. And we already got Red Deer, so I feel like Mule Deer would be the next one. But I suppose Moose is definitely on the table. It's just, I, I don't think Moose would be the first choice. I feel like they would go with Mule Deer. Mule Deer, Fallow Deer is also another one that got a lot of people excited for the possibility of it being Fallow Deer. Um... When they were revealing the Red Deer Great One and sent everybody out on that wild goose chase trying to figure out which one it was, most people wanted it to be Fallow Deer, I saw. So, they might do Fallow Deer next. It's hard to say. I'd be okay with that. Fallow Deer would actually be pretty cool. I just don't think so, Casey. I just don't think that they'll do a moose next. 
I feel like they would definitely go with the mule deer because it was one of the most popular requests. And I don't think we're going to be getting any reworks to anything anytime soon. They still haven't finished the true racks on Verhonga. And they had mentioned they wouldn't revamp like the uh, the true racks of anything until they were to finish all of the true rack species. So I feel like we still got to go through Verhonga, which is going to be six months at the minimum to get all those species in. Yeah, it just doesn't seem like uh, they would be reworking anything. Kevin, 15 months, dude. That's crazy. Holy, 15 months as a member. Welcome back, man. Yeah, I, I can see that, KC, but I guess at the same time, I'm just thinking off of popularity. Because Mule Deer were the second most voted for thing in the surveys. Just based off of feedback that I saw from everybody in the community. And I feel like they, they take the survey answers more... Like, they take those into consideration more than they do other things. That's the biggest reason I think Mule Deer. And then the reason that I'm thinking Fallow Deer also is because of the reaction of the community when the Great One Red Deer was added. And part of it could just be me not wanting it to be Moose because I don't want to hunt Moose for a Great One. Moose are not very fun to hunt in my opinion. And grinding for a moose great one would just be grueling. But to be honest, I'd be happier with like an elk one than a moose. Even though elk are difficult to grind as well. Yeah, Rocky Elk would be fun. I I would definitely like Rocky Elk over Roosevelt Elk for a great one. Ooh, hi. How's it going? See y'all just hanging out there. Thought that you could uh, get away with this and just live over there? No. 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 There's still there's still one more. I'm out of I'm out of shots. Hold on. One second. No. No. You cannot inhabit this island. That is my island. Yeah, definitely, Casey. And I don't know, another reason why I was thinking Mule Deer also is because there's three different maps that they can be on. And... They're a very popular species. People love the mule deer. I don't know. I'm still going to go with it's got to be mule deer. Because along with red deer and whitetail, mule deer is the next most talked about one over the last two years. Not, or over the last year or so, I guess. Ah, uh, Sonaldo guy. Thank you for the super chat, dude. Uh, my first great one, Whitetail, was like 3,700 kills. What do I do if I grind Whitetail normally and only females spawn in the zones? Uh, you just gotta search for new zones, because that means your bucks are spawning somewhere else. So there's really nothing you can do about that besides looking for where they're spawning. It's unfortunate, that's one of the reasons I uh, don't use that method and only hunt on Rancho, but... Yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of hard to avoid, sadly. You get the solo doe zones and the doe-only zones very often. Especially on Leighton Lakes and uh, Mississippi. And with Leighton, it happens with all species, it seems. Saw something. Oh, hey. 
I swear, we uh, finished a loop around the entire lake and now we've got another one drinking over there? What? That was quick respawns. That has to be respawns. That has got to be some respawns. I'd like a blacktail one, Kevin. I would love a blacktail great one. That's my top pick for what I would like. I don't see it being very likely, but I would love a blacktail great one. But again, that one would be absolutely awful to try and grind because blacktail are very inconsistent with their spawns. And currently they're only on Layton, which would be another downside for me. Because Layton is hard to hunt, especially for uh, grinding of anything, really. Okay, I think we only have two more to grab. I think there's just two more down over here. Then we should be good. Yeah, that would be the dream, Casey. That would be the dream to have some type of system like that. I don't see it very likely, though. My guess is if they did a non-antlered one, it would be just like a scarred up one. I feel like it would just be like maybe a grizzly bear with scars all over its body. Or maybe it's like missing an eye. It's got like a slash across its face. But again, it's hard to say. They took us for a loop with the red deer. So I guess it's really anything's on the table when it comes to great ones. Grizzly great one would be cool. It would be pretty cool if they did it correctly. I think uh, if I if I were to go for like a non-antlered species, I would probably want a Cape Buffalo. Just because a great one Cape Buffalo would be just incredible. Everybody loves Cape Buffalo. Cape Buffalo look amazing. I feel like if they're going to go with something that doesn't have antlers and go with like a horn species instead, Cape Buffalo would be the way to go. That would be like the perfect great one for Verhonga. It'd be the ultimate Verhonga great one. Lion would be cool as well, but I think there's less you could do with that. Diamond on Medved for the fail wheel? Oh gosh, no. <laughs> Not gonna do that. That's, that's a no instantly for me. Solo doe though. Sorry, ma'am. Gonna have to ask you to vacate the premises. Small nerd alert. Wow, Flounder. Calm down. I'm the favorite twin. Water Buffalo, great one, but class... Ooh, yeah, I do like that kind of. Classic style Water Buffalo, great one. Gosh, that'd be so huge. That'd be insane to see. Not too bad. We got some deer over here. 85 to 100. That is... That's an 85 to 100. Oh, my. That guy's going to be small male. Got a few over here, but nothing insane. All right. I guess we will go for this one first. Uh... Okay, that went wonderfully. Thank you, Call of the Wild. I love that tree hitbox, you know. Goes for a butt shot, hits the tree. Typical Call of the Wild. We got everyone here? Yeah, we do, Wes. Everybody's dropping by to see me struggle with the Great One grind. Although, I guess we did get that troll. So there's that, at least. And we're out. 
Come on. Give us another shot. Boop. Nope. Boop. Boop. Flinter with a voice changer? Yeah, I'm actually Flinter. Joke's on you guys. We never actually uh, stopped posting on each other's channels. We're just using real voice changers now. So we sound identical. Scarecrow stops moving when Flinter uses chat. <laughs> You guys didn't see anything. You guys saw nothing. Which ones wish this is so hard? Indeed. You guys will you guys will never know who is who now. <laughs> oh, rip. Nightbot didn't like that, I guess. Nice, Austin. How many kills am I into the Great One grind? Overall, just over 12,000. For this grind, grind in particular, roughly eight to 900. I haven't been keeping 100% perfect track of uh, the kills this time, but it's roughly eight to 900. Come on, Hunter. Find us. Find us the trophy. There it is. Flinter watching his own channel. It's pretty crazy, isn't it? Today I got a moose with two different shaped horns. Is that rare? Uh, it's not super rare. That's uh, that's something that happens relatively often with true racks. You'll get a 50-50 split uh, antlers on deer. And, well, pretty much anything that has true racks. It's kind of cool, though. They are very cool to find. A great one, Flynn Crow. Yeah, it's the new great one, actually. How many Red Deer zones in New Zealand? Uh, to be honest, I have no clue. I never found all of mine. I just found the ones I needed and started grinding. Can't remember how many we actually dropped over here. I think it was two or three. Got a different rack and it was a piebald whitetail. Is that rare? Uh, yeah, piebald whitetail are rare. Nice, average Joe. Congratulations, my dude. Never mind, Hunter. I found it already. The biggest of males. Where's that strange looking 85 to 100 buck? Oh yeah, I didn't know Kyla. Thank you for the uh, information, now I know. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that Shadow. Sorry to hear that. Minimum weight for geese? I actually don't know. Oh, yeah, Siphon. Uh, no worries, man. I am currently 12, just over 12,000 in total between all grinds. And for this grind alone, I'm at like eight to 900. Oh. No, Siphon, you don't. You don't have to have every zone. There's a time geese could go negative weight. Did I miss that time? I must have. Because that sounds amazing. We got some interesting looking bucks, but nothing crazy. Kyle out here starting stuff. Yep, it's looking that way. But no, you don't need all your zones to get a great one to spawn. I don't have all my zones for the last like two or three great ones that I've killed. Actually, I've never killed a great one with all my zones discovered. 
now that I think of it. I've never found all my zones on any of my grinds. And I've now got four white tail and one red deer great ones, so that alone shows you you don't need every zone. Now, finding all your zones will help with uh, making sure you don't have any initial spawn great ones or initial spawn diamonds or rares. That's about the only reason you would want to search for all your zones is to make sure that you're not missing out on any that were already there. But it's not going to stop you from getting anything good, you know? You still have equal chances as anybody else at getting something to spawn. Nice, Mason. Hey, Colson. It wasn't amazing. All level ones. Oh, gosh. Imagine getting a negative weight diamond. Small males everywhere. But at least we got three of them. And we wounded that doe, but I'm not going to worry about her. It's going to take way too long to get her. Me too, Adam. It is uh, quite annoying that that's even a thing in Call of the Wild. I wish they would have just designed the game with an anti-cheat so that would have never become a thing. It would have uh, would have been better for the game, but I get that they probably didn't expect it to be an issue. But it is quite unfortunate. Ooh. Oh my gosh. We're on fire today. Let's see if we can spot this herd from here. I actually don't know if they came back to that spot because we did shoot a lot of them. Might have deleted that zone and if so it might be moved over here now. Okay, so there's nothing there. So actually, yeah, there is. Hey. Hey buddy, you're nice. That's a pretty good deer. That's a really good buck. Really solid deer. I don't know if that's diamond potential. I can't really tell what rack it was, but that's still a good deer regardless. Really nice buck. Any tips for starting the red deer grind? Uh, if you'd like to check it out, Colin, I've got a full guide on Tiabador red deer uh, grinding that uh, should tell you everything you need to know. Uh, it's a little bit easier than trying to explain it right now. Because there is a lot I could talk about in regards to starting a grind. Diamond, no doubt. I hope so. It was really hard to tell what rack that was. If I could figure out what rack it was, then it would be a little bit easier to determine whether or not it will make it. <laughs> Why would you think that, Con? Was it score, graphics, or trash? Uh, the upper estimate was 268. So we're hoping that it's going to be something good, and we passed a doe. Favorite trophy other than the Melanistic Pheasant? Uh, Albino Rocky Elk. Definitely. That thing is beautiful. Oh gosh, Kyla's got the knife run. I haven't seen that knife in months. Yeah, it's understandable, Wyatt. I mean, if you've committed to one, then it can be hard to switch over. Wait, I think I missed the uh, the question, Colin. Let me go back and look. What 
Why do I shoot the does? Uh, it's because I'm going for full herd respawns because I have had much better luck with diamonds and rares doing that. With Rancho Del Arroyo, the deer always come back to the same lakes you kill them at for at least in my experience. So I shoot everything. I shoot every single deer that I see. This method is also used by uh, Mel's Gaming and Ron McTube. They do the same thing. They just shoot every deer in sight. Um, I do it a little bit different. They hunt all their lakes. I don't. I only hunt these three big lakes right here and then this tiny one down here and occasionally this tiny one at the top. And as long as you're just blasting everything in sight, they should always come back to the same lake and you shouldn't have to worry about them like disappearing. Now obviously, as with the start of any grind, uh, the first time you do it, there will be more deer than what you see on future runs. That just is how any grind goes regardless of what method you're using. But after you've done a couple runs, it will even out and you'll get roughly the same amount of deer every time. And overall, I've found that as long as you're killing every animal in the herd, you should have good full herd respawns coming back. Um, you will notice occasionally that you'll see solo does, but a lot of times that just means you missed one of the deer. Um, what? Wait. Where'd this guy come from? <laughs> I'm, I'm confused now. What? Huh? I never shot a deer over here. There's no way it floated because it's on land. Oh my gosh, I am so confused. I am so confused right now. Where did this deer come from? Where did this thing come from? Was it this? It must have been one of the ones we shot here and it just like ran over. I guess we'll find out if that one disappears. We hit spine? Hmm, I don't know. Where did this guy come from? No, it wasn't that one. That is so weird. That is so strange. That might be one of the weirdest things I've encountered today. How do you become a member? You click the blue join button. And if there is no blue join button across from the subscribe button, then you can use the link in the description or the link that was posted in chat. And that'll uh, show you all the options available. I probably will pretty soon, Caleb, but once, uh, once trout season opens up for rivers around here, I'm probably going to head out and do some uh, fishing videos. I mean, I kind of do IRL videos already on my second channel. My second channel, I've got uh, some Pokemon card opening videos, but I will be putting fishing videos on there eventually. Just going to be a matter of uh, waiting for the season to open. But it should be quite a bit of fun. Here it is. 243, wow. Okay, that's actually a pretty rare score to get. You don't very often see a 243 scoring buck. Believe it or not, this is more rare than a diamond, getting a buck that scores mid 240s. Yeah, I've never had a buck that scores 243. That's actually pretty cool. If I could get any super rare, what would I want? Diamond Melanistic Red Deer. 100%. In my opinion, that's one of the coolest looking animals in the game. Big Rack to be more specific, because that's by far the nicest looking Red Deer Rack. It's currently 327 here, uh, West Soros. And actually, after this run, we'll probably have to end it because I need to uh, get ready to head over to my mom's place today. Uh, we forgot to pick up those deer. Okay, well, we'll have to remember those. In fact, let's go pick those up now before I forget. When does season open? Um, end of May. So we're still like a month, almost two months off actually. No, great ones are not uh, considered super rares because they have a much higher spawn chance than a super rare does. 
we did the math a few days ago and super rares would be roughly like a 1 in 25,000 to 1 in 30,000 chance of spawning. And a great one is more like 1 in 2,000 or 1 in 4,000. So a super rare is about 10 times more difficult to find than a great one is. Because you have to take the odds of the diamond spawn plus the odds of a rare spawn for that species. Which nobody knows the exact odds, but... In most species, it seems like if you're grinding for them, you get a diamond roughly every 100 kills. So, uh, if the chances of a diamond are 1 in 100, and then the chances of a rare were also like 1 in 100, then you would have to do like 100 times 100. And that would bring you up to like 10,000. But I think it's more like 1 in 200 chance of getting a rare, so that brings you like to 20,000 roughly. It's, uh, it's, it's very difficult, basically. We should have, like, four or five deer down. Well, that's the fourth there, and then I think we shot... Yeah, there's number five. We might have even shot a sixth one, if I'm not mistaken. Hey, bro, bro. <laughs> Yes, being difficult is uh, fun. It, it definitely is. You made it just in time to uh, see the end of the stream, bro, bro. Made it just in time for the end. Wow, we actually did hit this thing. Okay, okay. I mean, the second shot wasn't great, but we did hit it a second time. And we actually got liver, too. Not bad, I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, let's actually go to this lake since this will probably be the last one we hunt. Uh, yes, Aiden, I do have super rares. I've got four of them as of now. Two white tails, which we actually got like a week ago. We got them back to back. Two days in a row, which was by far the craziest moment of my entire time playing this game. And then the other super rares I have is... I've got a diamond leucistic max weight duck from when we were grinding great ones on Layton. That was probably the best thing I got out of that grind, to be honest. And then, uh, I've also got a diamond piebald caribou that I got way before I did content on YouTube. I got it clear back at the release of Yukon. So it's been a while since I had that one, but it is a really cool super rare. Not a lot of deer over here this time. That is really far up to be drinking. Wow. Is there any bucks up there too? Makes me feel like we're missing out on something. Wonder if the super rare rain till the first one you got turned into the second super rare. Because if it did that, that'd be awesome. No, I don't think it, um... I don't think it respawned as a super rare because they were at completely different areas. I think what happened actually was that a diamond that we killed at that lake probably respawned as that super rare. Oh yeah, it's definitely possible, Adam. I've had two of those happen myself. One on Layton, one on Rancho. And I've seen, pretty sure Lady Legend got an initial spawn, uh, Kill Clinton got an, an initial spawn. Quite a few people in the community got initial spawn Great Ones as well. Like, there was a lot of them that happened, uh, ever since they fixed the Great Ones. Well, he's dead. Mason, thank you for the super chat, man. Really appreciate that. And I'm uh, glad to hear that you enjoy the live streams. Which, uh, speaking of live streams, there will be another one tomorrow. And I'll probably try to do two streams tomorrow. One on Call of the Wild, one on a different game. But once again, thank you for that uh, super chat. Really appreciate the support. Diamond Mountain Lion respawned as a six. That sounds like my luck most of the time, Revive. 
most of the time that's the luck I get, but occasionally we do get some cool stuff. Sorry to hear that, Yule. Unfortunate timing, dude. I've had that happen a couple times as well. It's uh, definitely not fun. But that's the risk we run playing multiplayer and... Or were, was yours even in multiplayer? Actually, I don't think you even said if it was in multiplayer, but my the ones that I've lost have been in multiplayer. Alright, I think that is going to be it for today, but I appreciate you all dropping by. So, thank you all for watching. We will be back for another stream tomorrow. And we'll also have another video. Uh, tomorrow I've got something else really cool. We're going to be getting a rare tomorrow. That is the first time I've ever killed this rare. So, that's your hint for tomorrow's video. You guys will not want to miss it because it's uh, pretty amazing. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!